I was watching Star Wars and I had this sudden thought, how big is a proton torpedo? We know where the torpedo tubes are on an X-Wing. What is that, five, six inches? That's some tiny stuff. Now, since the design is a literal smooth cone, we can actually make a mock-up of this thing really easily. If we cut out a circle and form it into a cone, and there it is. That's a proton torpedo. The weapon that destroyed the Death Star. It's pretty small. <laughs> I mean, for a torpedo anyway. In real life, fighters have been launching torpedoes for over a hundred years, and the smallest lightweight aerial torpedoes are still some 12 inches in diameter and over 8 feet long. That means that this is some seriously miniaturized technology. But that's fine, we're talking about a galaxy far, far away here. The Incredible Cross Sections books actually imagine that this little thing is only part of a larger launching system. So altogether, the whole thing would look a little more like a traditional torpedo but it functions more along the lines of an artillery shell, and that makes its size actually work pretty well with existing weapons, like the 5-inch guns commonly found on naval ships. Granted, one of the largest guns ever fitted to an aircraft was a 75mm cannon, about 2.95 inches. So that means that if we're keeping this comparison, the X-Wing carries something like the equivalent of two 5-inch guns in its body. But there's one big difference here. Artillery shells aren't guided the way that proton torpedoes are. Star Wars technology really is pretty amazing because what that means is that despite the fact that it might get some initial velocity from a launcher, this little torpedo has to carry its own means of thrust and its own fuel all within this tiny little shell. And yes, Star Wars does have fuel and always has back on topic, it's also going to have a pretty sophisticated guidance and reaction control system to make those hairpin turns. So the proton torpedo is actually a really sophisticated piece of technology, and it's one that we kind of take for granted. My subconscious mind always assumed that these things had to be at least like I don't know, the size of a basketball? But of course that seems silly once you look at where it's supposed to come out of on the X-Wing. Something that I found interesting is that the fighters in Star Wars actually have pretty consistently sized ordnance launchers. The X-Wing, the Y-Wing, and even the Naboo Starfighter all have appropriately scaled launcher tubes for a roughly 6-inch torpedo. So it would seem that Star Wars fairly consistently has very miniaturized guided weapons. Now something I've wanted to do ever since I discovered this was to make a really realistic replica of a proton torpedo, maybe even made out of metal and finely detailed like it was the real thing. And if that's a project that you guys would like to see me do, let me know because I'd love to build that and share the process with you. And of course, the best way that I can afford to do stuff like that and to continue to make the kind of content that you want to see is to support me on Patreon. So make sure to check that out if you want to join an awesome crew of over 100 people that keep this channel alive every month. I've been blown away by the support that you guys have been showing recently. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.